Hi everybody, welcome back. It's been about a month or so since our last episode, and I'm here again with... Hi, Hi guys, I'm Cadet G, and we're doing the Star Trek video. Next up, Starlet, it's on Troy, Jordy, and Aurora. Okay, so, so this is what I said to Troy. I said, I like chocolate. I said, Shorty, do you like having your visor on? And he said, no, I was giving him a headache. A whore kissed at my hand. So the cadet wanted me to uh, read one of her favorite golden books to everyone. This is the one that came out most recently. The uh, little golden book, Star Trek, Too Many Tribbles. Let's see, Too Many Tribbles. Too short. This is by Frank Berrios, based on the original teleplay Trouble of Tribbles, written by the great David Gerald. <laughs> Captain's Log, starting at 4523.3. Captain Kirk and the crew of the USS Enterprise have received an urgent call from Deep Space Station K7. Could it be a Klingon attack? Upon arrival, Kirk and Mr. Spock learn their true mission from an assistant named Darwin. They must protect the shipment of high-yield grain. The greedy Klingons will probably try to steal it for themselves. While two guards keep the grain secure, the rest of the crew explores the station. Lieutenant Uhura meets a trader who sells furry little creatures called... What are those furry little creatures called? They're called Tribbles. Tribbles? And look what popped in. A Tribble. Oh. If this one doesn't multiply... The salesman gives Uhura a tribble as a gift. Uhura loves her very new pet. Uhura returns to the Enterprise with her hungry little tribble. The next morning, she is shocked to discover that she has a bunch of new tribbles. Suddenly, a Klingon battlecruiser arrives at the space station. This could mean trouble. The Klingons are allowed to board the space station, but can they be trusted? Not even furry little tribbles like Klingons. Although the Klingons say they come in peace, a fight breaks out. No one insults the Enterprise in front of Scotty. Meanwhile, back on the Enterprise, the bridge is covered in Tribbles. Wow. The Tribbles got into the air vents, so they are all now all over the ship, even in the mess hall. And they're eating everything in sight. Mm. But they're even in the cups and the plates. Wow. If the Tribbles were able to find their way into the air vents aboard the Enterprise, they must have done the same to the space station. Captain Kirk and Mr. Spock beam back aboard the space station. And their fears are confirmed. The Tribbles have eaten all the grain. Mr. Spock notices that some of the Tribbles are sick. Someone must have poisoned the grain. Yeah, maybe they're poisoned. With a little help from Dr. McCoy and a couple of Tribbles, Kirk discovers that Darwin is a Klingon spy That's in disguise. Remember? Darwin was the one who poisoned the grain. With their spy revealed, the Klingons quickly leave the space station. The crew returns to the Enterprise, but all the Tribbles are gone. Yeah, but I Where did they all go? I don't know. Where did all the Tribbles go? It turns out that Scotty transported the furry creatures to the Klingon ship. Will there be no Tribble at all? Yeah. So there you go. The abbreviated version of the classic episode, Trouble with Tribbles. Well, just like the Tribbles, the children have multiplied. Yeah, we're not going to add all the time. Alright. May you all live long and prosper.